हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टू बिट फ्लैश ए डी सी दैट इज एनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर नॉर्मली वी नो दैट देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर्स आर अवेलेबल विथ अस आउट ऑफ दिस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस फ्लैश टाइप ऑफ ए डी सी और पैरल कंपेरेटर ए डी सी सर्किट फॉर आवर एप्लीकेशन और फॉर आवर डिस्कशन हियर दिस इज ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर वन टू थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू यूज आई सी एल एम थ्री टू फोर विच इज ए कॉल्ड ओपे एम आई सी वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस थ्री ओपे एम फ्रॉम दिस इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट दे आर दे आर वर्किंग एज ए कंपेरेटर सो इफ यू कंसिडर द सर्किट डायग्राम विच वी आर कंसिडर वो यर ऑल द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल्स ऑफ द ओपे एम आर कनेक्टेड टूगेदर एंड टू दिस वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई द एनालॉग इनपुट सिग्नल देन इफ यू सी हेयर रेफरेंस वोल्टेज वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई एज ए वन होल्ड एंड करस्पॉन्डिंगली द रेजिस्टिव एलिमेंट्स आर कनेक्टेड इन अ सर्किट इफ यू सी वो यर at this point that is a inverting terminal of comparator 1 at this point the voltage generated is this r upon r plus 3r that is r upon 4r into v reference that becomes 1 by 4 v reference so theoretically speaking this is a one volt 1 by 4 v reference will become 250 millivolts so at this point the voltage generated will be 250 millivolts theoretically at this point the voltage generated will be 500 millivolts Theoretically, at this point, the voltage generated will be 750 millivolts. We are going to apply the analog input signal over here, and according to the input signal available at the positive terminal of the op-amp, the output of comparator will be set to high value or low value, and this is applied to 7148 decoder, where at the output side we are getting a two-bit digital output. The advantage of using flash type of ADC is it is the fastest type of comparator. The only thing is. Number of comparators required in in case of flash type flash type of ADC is two raised to n minus one. Here we are selecting a two bit output. That's why two raised to two becomes four. So four minus one, three comparators are required. C one, C two, and C three. If we are selecting a three bit output, then two raised to three that becomes eight. So eight minus one, seven comparators are required. So number of comparators required may be more in this case, but the circuit complexity is less, and we can convert analog input signal into corresponding. Digital output signal. Uh, the observation table is like this. Here we are having the reference voltage one volt as we are going to apply. The analog input signal we are going to apply between uh, zero uh, to to less than two fifty millivolts. Then we are second case we are considering greater than seven uh, two uh, sorry zero to two fifty millivolts means greater than zero less than two fifty millivolts. Second case greater than two fifty millivolts less than five hundred millivolts. third case greater than 500 millivolts and less than 750 millivolts third case is greater than 750 millivolts but less than 1 volt and correspondingly we are going to check the digital output over here now let us come to the circuit discussion uh, uh this is a plus 5 volt power so this is a multiple power supply from this power supply we are going to apply 5 volt signal over here this is a 5 volt terminal here which is the requirement for the two ics uh, then by using this 0 to 30 volt power supply we have connected designed one volt power supply which we are going to apply over here this is one volt power supply applied and accordingly here at this terminal 250 millivolt is generated at this terminal 500 millivolts and at this terminal 750 millivolt signal will be generated and here by using this power supply we are going to apply the input signal which is as mentioned less than 250 then less than 500 then less than 750 millivolts and less than 1 volt like this steps we are going to take i will just show you the voltages which we are going to apply right now this is a 1 volt signal we have applied as a reference voltage uh, this is a 5 volt signal which we have we have applied for the uh, ampli uh, integrated circuits and this is the analog input signal we are going to apply <coughs> now the analog input signal right now analog input signal right now is less uh, greater than 0 and less than 250 millivolts and you can see the output so here you can see the output so here so both the terminals are uh, both the leds are not blinking now i will show you the uh, output of comparator theoretically output of comparator expected is zero practically we are getting here 650 millivolts for comparator 1 comparator 2 and comparator 
in all the cases the output of comparator is at a zero level so first condition is satisfied that bit, uh, input signal analog input is greater than zero and low, less than 250 the output is zero now i will take the second condition if i am going to increase the analog input signal and now input signal is greater than 250 millivolts analog input signal is greater than 250 millivolts as we have considered over here greater than 250 millivolts and then we will check the output of comparator so if if you see the output of a comparator 1 comparator output is 3.8 holes C1 Comparator C2 is again 640, 650 so off. Comparator C3 is again off. So when the input is bit greater than 250 millivolts and less than 500 volts, comparator C1 is on and comparator output C2 and C2 and C3 is again in off state. So again the condition is satisfied. This LED is glowing. So what we have defined again. Now I will connect the input signal uh, or I will take the analog input signal greater than 500 millivolts so it is 660 millivolts so now uh, see the conditions LED is blinking over here now output of comparator 1 is 3.8 comparator 1 is turned on comparator 2 is also turned on this condition is satisfied and output of comparator 3 is 650 millivolts so comparator C3 is still in a off state if I take the last condition that is greater than 750 millivolts greater than 750 millivolts and less than 1 volt so it is greater than 750 millivolts both the LEDs are glowing means output is 1 1 the output of comparator 1 is 3.8 as 3.8 and this is 3.8 means all the comparators C1, C2 and C3 are turned on and the output is 1 1 means when the input signal is greater than 750 and less than 1 volt output we are getting is 1 1 hence the as we have defined theoretically the conversion of analog signal into 2 bit digital output is obtained thank you